Hey guys, another adventure today. Yeah, I'll be fixing this sound, but not anymore. It's a so you can just hear sound. Now we're going to learn the crash course as the new be so funny right now. After we're done with that, you play tag. Tag, tag. Like three, my friend, and play tag. Come on, I hate this one. She wants to be a tiger, huh? Or you're just joking. You gotta be not joking. No. Let's do the secret move. Yo, I can't stand that move. The secret thing, like I'm not trying to do more arcade, more adventure, more adventure. I'm sure if he does that. Flakes for oh you stand up I did. What we would stand up? Come on. That nice thing. Oh yeah, there's a squirrel. Wait, I'm going to get it. Oh, it's so hot. I need a pillow. It's hot. Yeah. I need my pillow so it's not too hot. Oh yeah, that's that's have no time. Five.
Okay, sorry about that. That's why I... Okay, let's do the crash courses. Now let's go to the crash courses. So I hope we just watch one movie. So we're gonna watch the one. We're back. Exploring adaptions. There's so many in the um, middle. Yeah, exploring courses. Not good. Good boy, Edgar. Mm, Alan, yeah, I saw Alan. Edgar? Uh, okay. Let's do. I can't wait to pick up my next book shipment. <laughs> yeah, the mean lion jellyfish is a horrible idea. I forgot. Crash courses. <sighs> so we watch one set. Today's crash course is on the Mariana Trench. And the unique creatures that live far below the surface. Like that oh, guy. Ooh, that. It looks perfect. like he's fishing. And he brought his own flashlight. Sir, that's an anglerfish, which can live up to a mile deep in the ocean where there's absolutely no light. And the research subs that can go down there are crazy expensive. Did you know that some of the first deep sea explorers used what was called a bathosphere? And you know what's not expensive, Sandra? Me, your intern. No, you silly goose. Old oh, bathtubs. Oh, Sir, you are not thinking of going down in that thing. Are you? I sure wasn't, but I am now. 
I'm going to go a mile down the ocean in my homemade bathosphere. Oh, broke the That's glass. a horrible idea, sir. Nah, Sanja, you're such a joker. But first, here's today's fast facts. Fact number one. The Mariana Trench is actually a place where the Earth's surface is torn by one section of the Let surface, the pushing the down the under the another the section. Number two, live in Philippines. the deepest known point in any of the oceans is called the Challenger Deep, which is in the Mariana Trench. It is over 36,000 feet deep. And number three, scientists have found living things at these depths where they thought nothing could survive. Well, to the ocean, ta-ta. Sandra, I'm now starting my one mile descent into the deep, dark depths of the ocean. Hey, I've already gone 50 feet. Uh-oh, I'll fix that. Sir, you're never going to make it a mile down in that thing. Sandra, never underestimate the power of duct tape. A hundred feet. Only 5,180 more to go. Hey, what's that? Is that my angler fish? No. Nope, that's a sub. <laughs> well, that went pretty well. It went horribly, sir. <laughs> yeah, it's like funny, guys, right? Yeah, it's funny. Oh, no! Ah. Oh, never mind. Let's just watch another. So we'll watch another. Here I am! Good boy, Edgar. I can't wait to pick up my next book shipment. Mm. I'm looking forward to my next expedition. Yes, I can buy this. I don't like to buy this. Yo, there's a girl. Edgar, where should oh, we travel to nice. next? I don't like that, but... Don't be shy. Come right over. Oh, you want to buy the... Edgar, where should we travel to next? Oh yeah, this this one. I'm looking forward to my next expedition. Oh, yeah. Let's dig deeper into maglev trains. Can you imagine a train without wheels? Instead, it would float a few inches off the ground. That's called levitation. Now. Imagine the train zooming as fast so as 375 it? miles per um, hour. Yeah. That's yes. almost as fast as a passenger crash plane. Crash courses, crash now here's like the that. really awesome part. That's crash you don't need to imagine new. one. It already exists. That's new. It's called a maglev train. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. So how exactly does a maglev train levitate? Yeah, Here's a clue. Moves, it uses objects that attract certain metals, like iron and steel, and can also attract or repel other objects like itself. Car. And one more clue. You might have a few of these objects on your refrigerator. Then if you're your, thinking oh, magnets, Russia, Russia. you're Jurassic right. World. All Jurassic magnets World. have two opposite ends, which we call the no, north, north and pole. south poles. Red, red. When opposite Santa poles are near each other, they attract or pull each other. When similar poles are near each other, they repel yeah. or push each other apart. Maglev trains are powered by a special kind of magnet that only becomes magnetic when powered by electricity. The yeah, magnetic forces of these electromagnets don't just lift the train off the track, they move the train down the track fast. Fortunately, unlike ordinary okay, magnets, Electromagnets can be turned off. Otherwise, a maglev oh, train Lord. would run forever, making it the hardest train in the world to actually get onto. If you want to know more, remember, you can always dig deeper. Dig deeper, yeah, go down. Very deep. Sea dragons. This one this is funny too. Crash!
crash courses. <sighs> Today's crash course is on glaciers, or as I like to call them, the world's largest ice cubes. Sandra, do you think giants use glaciers in their iced tea? No, I don't, sir. Ice Great Guga Muga, look at that glacier break up into the ocean. That's called calving, sir. Sandra, what do baby cows have to do with it? Absolutely nothing, sir. Baby Glad cows. we agree. Sweet jabby dabby, I think I'll go to Alaska to see if I can observe a glacier split up super close and personal. That's a horrible idea, either. sir. To the casual observer like yourself, maybe. But, Sandra, I'm a cultivator of science. I boldly go where no man has gone before. Man has gone there before, sir. Not this man, but before I go, it's time for today's fast facts. Fact number one. A glacier is a slow-moving river of ice that flows downhill. Fact number two. At the present time, gl oh, This is where we live, guys. This one. Did you see my idol here? Master clan. And then here's the U.S., the Russia, my favorite country. The China. Yeah. Antarctica, the lowest south. Oh yeah, we're in the north. Like, there's a line and then we're in the northwest. Oh yeah, I live here in the Philippines. Hey. Okay. okay. Glaciers cover about one-tenth of the this. Earth's surface and contain about three-fourths of oh, the world's yeah, fresh this. water. Did you see and the finally, blue? Yo, guys, that's so bad. And finally, the last fact. No. Force of the world's fresh. That's the cold, the Antarctica of that. Whoa, there's so many glaciers. Yeah, you ask A2. You bet that's no north. It lives in the north, yo. We're in the northwest. No, northeast. Eastern, north, north. China East Sea versus the Philippines versus the Af uh, versus the US, yeah. Leo! Fresh water! And finally, the last fact. During the most recent ice age, which ended about 11,000 years ago, glaciers covered three times as much land as they do now. Well, I better get to those glaciers she before they all disappear. Ta-ta! Here I am in He's front in of a dying. giant That's glacier a wall, jutting hundreds of feet above me. Near. You know what that sound is, Sandra? The last sound you'll ever hear, sir. Nope. As luck would have it, it appears I'm about to witness the calving of a glacier no, firsthand. No, 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 no. Sir, you are dangerously close to that glacier. Well, it might look that way to you, Sandra, but I can assure you... Yep, I'm too close. Row, oh, row, row your boat gently down the street! Well, I think that went pretty well. It went horribly, sir. Hurricanes. Nice. Can we read this, guys? Hurricane. A hurricane is coming out in the ocean. A storm is spinning, and it hits land. Strong winds ban trees. Sheets of uh, huge waves pound beaches. Sheets of rain pour from the clouds. Ah. Hurricane has come to the shore. Oh no, and not. Hurricanes are powerful storms that form over warm tropical ocean water. Warm wet air rises into the sky. Oh yeah, that would happen. The wet air forms clouds and thunderstorms. Thunderstorms gather uh, together in a spinning a form to a hurricane. Oh, that's also in the Philippines. That's in the Philippines, too. Yeah, it's like a Philippine country. The Philippine country like this. This one, that's from like a Philippine land. The hurricane is shaped like a donut. A donut! Oh, look at this one. The hole it in it is sent. It's center in the eye. The eye has calm winds. The eyeball has the storm most powerful winds. Eye. Yeah, the wall, the eye, the eye inside, then you can see, eye wall, <coughs> rain bands, what, 
Rain bands stretch out in the eye while these bands carry heavy rain and strong winds. We'll be right back, guys. Wait and drink your water, just wait. Ugh. Okay, okay guys, um, I just go up there. Studying hurricanes. Hurricanes struck, scientists struck hurricanes to predict their path and strength. They use tools to figure out when hurricanes might hit land. Satellites take picture of hurricanes from space. Oh yeah, that's a hurricane. That's how a hurricane looks like if there's a off or forming. Yeah. Planes fly into hurricanes to test wind speeds, temperature, and air pressure. Oh no, it's a bad idea. We know it's a bad idea. Scientists warn people when hurricanes are coming. Hurricane Mindy will hit land tonight. Scientists measure hurricane in strength. Weak hurricanes breaks tree branches and that means homes a week. It's weak. Yeah, but it's weak. It's not strong. Then it cannot. Oh yeah, we don't know. Strong hurricanes snap trees and destroy their homes. Oh, that's broken. If that's old, then it was just broke. They also cause. They also cause. Cause huge waves. These waves flood beaches and destroy homes near shore. Hurricanes, uh, this is like Philippines. Oh, that's not Philippines. It's like China. Yeah, that looks like China. So, I think this is Philippines, guys. I don't know. It's so small. We're not small. Sometimes more than one hurricane forms at a time. Or more hurricanes. That's like for China, but there's not Philippines. Hmm. Yeah, this looks like a Philippine map now. Like the Philippines has hurricane. Okay. To track storm, all hurricanes are given names. To the names that we win. The all hurricanes. Oh yeah, are given names. The names switch between boys and girl names. Lisa and Carl. Oh. Oh, the sea stones for hurricane begin with the letter A. Hurricane names follow the alphabet. Hurricane Alex is growing Alex. Oh, some hurricanes cause major damage. The names of these storms are Nabeus, Tekan, Andrew, Betsy, Charlie, Dora, Edna, Fluid, Gura, Hugo, our classmate, Iger, Julian, Katrina. Think safe. Hurricanes don't strike without warning. Scientists track these storms for days before they arrive. The hurricane is moving fast. People near the coast need to prepare the storm. They put away the items that can blow away. The boards up windows to, so the glass doesn't break. To stay safe, people may leave home to get farther away from the storm. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's like good. Hurricanes can knock out power for days back on emergency kit for a storm keep a flashlight light and a battery powder they do nearby have bandages and other first aid supplies ready to stock shelves with bottled water and canned food when a hurricane strikes indoors keep away from windows and glass doors yeah they might broke Listen to the radio for updates on the storm. Hurricane Bonnie is getting weaker. Knowing 
need to do what I freaking helps to keep safe. To helps you stay safe. Oh! Dana! Bye bye! <laughs> bye, my man. Just, just joking. Okay, let's play now. We can do now another match academy. No, 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 no. What do you call it, guys? Oh, yeah. Crash. We're back! Oh, yeah. I'm looking forward to my next expedition. I can't wait to pick up my next book shipment. It's a girl, right? But even if it's online, no, everything is offline. Yo, I think. Oh yeah, I just stopped. Yo. No. So that must be a lie. How many told the bad news to this girl? Cat Princess. Uh, I think I'm going to Oh, yeah, Cat Princess. Cat. I think we're not gonna watch in the neighborhood, but you can see later some in the inside crash courses to the oh uh, uh, yeah you know it guys inside here I tried watching it yo is she going there yeah she is. okay. Courses here. Oh, yeah, you can watch here learning. No, yeah, 
Yeah, wait, Team Rocket? Yo, that that rocket space thing looks like a basketball. So, like this. I mean, let's make it that way. Let's go back to scary sauce. Wait, I just saw the Russia. I like balls and a pool table. Oh, she's got princess. Dragon Con. Oh yeah, this is nice as they do. Wow, this is so cool. Look what I found. Wow. Oh, I see you found my gold coin. That coin has been on quite an adventure. Well, let me tell you a story about the toad and the gold. Once upon a time, there was a toad named Joan. Joan lived on a desert road. All day long, she would hop along the road looking for bugs to eat. One day, Joan was hopping down the road, and she saw a bag on a large stone. The bag was filled with gold coins. Joan let out a big croak. She'd never seen anything so beautiful in her life. But Joan wasn't strong enough to hold the bag of gold. But Joan didn't moan. She didn't mope and she didn't lose hope. She just sat and thought and thought until she had a bold idea. Joan decided to carry the gold coins home one by one. She put one coin on her back, wiggled her toes, and hopped to her home. Joan carried the gold coins home, one at a time, all through the night. Joan brought home every one of the gold coins. She was the richest toad of all time, or at least that's what she told me. Wait, Joan the Toad told you that story? That's right. She told me the story the day she gave me this coin. And now this gold coin is yours. Whoa! Whoa. But I thought you said she was the richest toad of all time. Yeah, Granny. <laughs> she was rich. What's a toad going to do with gold? Nothing. But anyone can enjoy a little chocolate. Hey, Granny, how old is this chocolate anyway? Yeah, when did Joan give it to you? Oh, it was many years ago, long before you were born.
message come from Santa? You've got the look of a reporter with a story. That's definitely a story. I know a lot of people were eagerly waiting for the bank to open. I'll be sure to get this into the Chronicle. Thanks for the tip. Nice to meet you. I'm Mason Brooks, reporter for the Adventure Academy Chronicle. Have you read our newspaper before? In that case, you must know that it's the finest paper in town. Why don't you check out the latest edition? Just find our newsies, Danny or Katya, to grab a paper from their store. So we're back.
Do.
what guy is this? Guys, because they're too Go to heart message it to look them. Who's coming? Oh, run, keeper will.
she got that was so nice. This is thing her sister Coco so nice. Coconut, coconut. <laughs> Okay, Joshua, I know it. Joshua's there. Your brother's there, Coco. Co Your brother's there, Coconuts. <laughs> Okay guys, this is the last. This is the last and we're gonna say goodbye. Uh, let's run! Oh yeah! Coco, I just peed. Oh, cookie. Yeah, cookies are friend. Cookie and Coco. Say bye.